<laughs> Hello guys and welcome to another edition of Haunted Ghost Stories. Obviously, there's no haunted ghost stories here, but I wanted to get into something and discuss something pretty important to me. Obviously, by the title, you know that it's my birthday. I'm a quarter of a century old, 25, and before I ramble on and talk about different things that are germane to my life, I just wanted to say that the most important aspect of my life is YouTube and you guys. They don't call it YouTube for anything, right? <laughs> but um, anyway, I just really wanted to tell you guys that I've lived... 25 years, but during my whole entire life, I've never got more satisfaction out of anything than YouTube and being able to create videos and put them on a platform for people to watch. And, you know, as I'm reflecting on my life in just the past 25 years and thinking about the most significant moments of my life, um, meeting my favorite band member of my favorite band, and just like having that experience and knowing that was the greatest moment of my life and then getting published and having poetry out there for the world to see basically cementing myself into immortality my work lives on and i mean that's the thing right there is it's it's not just the fact that i just want to do something to preoccupy my time and that's great i love being productive i love being busy in that regard creating something artistic ingenuity i guess you would call it but what i really want to do is i really want to shape someone's life and at least entertain them for the moment uh that they're actually viewing uh like a video of mine or just you know reading uh some literature that i wrote um but but more importantly I want to touch you guys emotionally. I want you guys to feel what I'm feeling when I'm recording my material or when I'm reading a poem and I'm presenting it to you guys because, honestly, this is not just for me. I mean, of course, it's a significant role in my life. It plays a huge role. I'm not denying that, but what it really matters to me the most is that you guys are watching and you guys are getting fulfillment out of my videos and out of my poetry if you're watching you know if you're reading my poetry and excuse me if i sound a little sentimental and excuse me if there's so much noise background noise coming from up there you know i have dogs you know and uh, a quiet cat but sometimes he can be loud during the recording process i digress i just want to say that you know guys i'm I can't thank you enough for what you have done for me and what you have provided for me over the course of this past year um, that I've been on YouTube. And as I see my channel evolving and growing and becoming something that's so unique and so, you know, it's just so engaging and fun for myself and just being able to interact with you guys and respond to your comments, you know, I just want to say that I really do care about you guys, you know, and it's not just, it's not something disingenuous. It's not, and I'm not just saying this because <laughs> like I, I, I genuinely mean it, you know, I genuinely mean it. I mean, every day I come home from my day job and I'm so excited to see what's going on on Twitter as it pertains to my YouTube channel. You know, I always see if there's, I always look forward to seeing comments if there's a new comment on my video, no matter if, it, even if it's negative sometimes. Like, I get a kick out of it no matter what because, it's, like, it means I'm affecting someone in some way, and that's what matters most to me. Like, I want to impact you guys, and I want to leave an impression on you that you guys will have for the rest of your life. And I know that sounds so retarded. I know that sounds so ridiculously, um, I guess, narcissistic in a way, but, like... Or egotistical, you know. I'm not saying everybody, everybody thinks my videos are really great or anything, but I mean, I, I criticize myself constantly. I'm highly critical of myself. The greatest present, <laughs> the greatest present that I ever received is the gift of life, but it's also the fact that when I get on my computer and I connect to the internet, when I look at my channel, I see people interacting with me. I see comments. I see so much I, contained in that into the, my little channel, that little space that I created for myself. Something so profound, that beautiful refuge that is contained within that space. That's this is why I do this because you guys mean so much to me and no matter what no matter what I know at the end of my day, when I go and upload a video, 
I'll get at least one or two comments. I won't get a billion, but I'll get one or two comments and a few likes here or there. But that tells me, that tells me that you guys are receptive. And, you know, there are a lot of things that I get wrong in my life. There are a lot of things that I do that are wrong that, you, you know, that I, I'm a screw up. I'm a fuck up in a lot of ways. Like, I, I like to think I do things well, but, you know, there are a lot of things that I could do to improve myself. I mean, I got a personal life that, you know, I'm learning and getting better as I grow. And But there's so much that I could definitely do to be a better person and to just be genuine. And But what always will matter the most to me is when I get on YouTube, when I log on to YouTube, and I look at all these videos, all these creationists. I'm going to call them creationists because when you create a piece and you put it up for the world, you're exposing your vulnerabilities. You're exposing yourself to the world, essentially. What you're going to be doing, you're going to be putting yourself out there and regardless, regardless if people are accepting you or not, regardless, you're taking that risk that hopefully will benefit you in the long run, but also you're doing something because you hope to get something out to an audience that is hopeful that they will receive your message of love. And that's what it is. That's what it is. Honestly, that's what lo YouTube creators are love. They love you guys so much that they're willing to put up videos. They're willing to sacrifice a lot of their time standing, sitting, you know, recording footage, sacrificing so much of their time when they could be doing something else just to give you some, in many cases, three minutes of your attention. And don't misconstrue this message at all. I'm not saying, I'm not saying that they dread uploading videos, but I'm saying... We give you, like, at least I can speak for myself. I give you the most that I can possibly give. My time, my effort, all this energy. And that's what it is for you guys to feel entertained. And honestly, it's done out of altruism. It really is. It's not done for my personal greed or satisfaction. It's not because I want to be the richest person in the world or I want to be a millionaire. No, I'm doing this because I want to inspire people I want, like, and that sounds ridiculous. I know how ridiculous that sounds. How can you inspire people by reading stories? No, I just want, I, I want to know that, I, I want to prove to people that you can accomplish what you want, your dreams, if you try hard enough. And I want to tell you that you can, if you're sitting here and you're wondering if you want to start YouTube, if you're wondering if you can start YouTube, the answer is you have to have it inside you. Like, we're not gods. We're simple people who make videos. That's all we do. We just upload videos. That's all we really do. We're human beings who upload videos. And there's no reason why nobody, anybody who's listening to this video could, and they really want to break into YouTube can do it. There's no reason why you can't do that. There's no reason why you can't do anything you want in life as long as you put your mind to it. That sounds naive, but really it is. A little hard work and elbow grease will get you to where you need to go. And I never thought I'd be sitting here having so many wild aspirations of, you know, doing well on YouTube. And I have over a thousand subscribers. Like, a thousand people are tuning in to listen to my content to hear my videos, to see my videos, to do anything they can possibly do, to get a piece of my videos. And that's absurd to think. That's absurd to think because here I am just, I'll, I'm not doing anything that's, you know, too spectacular. And I give it my heart and I give it my soul. And I, I feel like it's being received. And you know what? I'm sorry for the horrible, horrendous editing in this video. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for a lot of things that, you know, like are happening in this video. I'm sorry for being too way emotional and sentimental. But this is coming from the heart. And I really wanted to say all these things because I wanted to express how I feel about you guys. Because it means more. You guys don't understand how it means to me. Like all this. All this. Like... 
And I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure it's like this goofy ass kid from the Midwest of the United States of America freaking gave birth to a child, even though he's a freaking man. And he's taking good care. He's being the, 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 the parent that you've always wanted him to be. The one who's always at your football games. The one who's always communicating with you. The one who's always interacting with you. Who's always present. The, the guy who always needs to be there for you. The father figure. Like, dad's not fucking perfect. No, he, he'll never be perfect. He's fucking cursing when he knows he has some young kids who shouldn't even be learning that language. But in the end, you'll always love your dad. And I'm not saying you'll love my channel. I'm not saying that you do love this channel so much that it's like a father to you, if that even makes sense. <laughs> oh, jeez, guys. But what I'm saying is that's how good I treat this channel. I treat it like it's my baby. And I'll be here for the rest of my life trying to grow and nurture and care for this child to make sure it blossoms into what it needs to be. And I have you guys to thank. With a little bit of help... I can make this a reality, you know. I can I can make this, you know, I can reach my goals with this channel. But guys, I got to wrap this up. I got to wrap this up and I'm sorry if you had to listen to my rambling. I'm sorry if you wasted so much time getting to the end of this video. But if you have gotten to the end of the video, please comment below. Tell me when your birthday is and what your greatest gift of all is. I know that sounds really, really, really personal, but I want to hear things. I, 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 I want to know. I want to know some things. And if you don't want to share it, you don't have to. You don't need to do that. But I just want to get transparent with you guys and let you guys know that you know there's it's it's not just a channel. Some people treat their channels like they're channels. They're just ch ordinary channels. My channel's not a channel. It's a living human being to me. See you guys. Hope you have a nice night. and You'll see an upload Friday. Thank you so much.